Okay, I'll see. I'll see how it works. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be super weird. I don't know. Hello, this might be super weird, but we just <laughs> finished filming the episode, um, and we made no introduction. I mean, it was a brief introduction, but not a proper introduction. So I'm gonna pass the camera around so okay, everybody can introduce themselves, and you know what's gonna happen. Hi, my name is Omar Z. Robles. Uh, I'm a photographer based here in New York City, uh, and I shoot primarily dancers in the streets of New York City and around the world. Um, my workflow used to be digital, but over the last uh, year or so, I started shooting uh, mainly film. Uh, I'm going to pass it now to the dancer that I were, we were working with so that you can get to know her a little bit better. And <laughs> Hi. Oh, yep. I'm Alexander Jacob. Uh, I am a dancer based in New York City. I was dancing for the Dance Theater of Harlem Company for about 10 years, and I left about five years ago. I'm freelancing now but I'm still dancing full-time, but I'm uh, doing primarily avant-garde uh, choreography work. Um, so I'm working with a lot of brands, but I'm also choreographing with a local um, chamber orchestra based in Brooklyn. And I'm excited that we took you along with us. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, that wasn't that weird. That was fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the episode is coming up and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Peace out. I have been photographing dancers for about five years or so now, I want to say, and um, the reasons why I, the reason why I photograph dancers specifically is because I have a performance arts background specifically. Um, before being a photographer, I actually studied mime um, under the tutelage of uh, Marcel Marceau in Paris, um, and before that, I was a gymnast. All right, so I'm gonna be shooting today with a Leica M6 and a Sumicron. Um, 50 millimeter uh, collapsible. Uh, I think I believe this lens is from 1956. I got it a while back, like a few weeks ago, off of a guy with Cre uh, from Craigslist. <laughs> um, Film-wise, I'm gonna be shooting with a Pro Image uh, Kodak. This is 100 um, ISO, but I am going to be pushing it uh, to 400. So I'm actually gonna be, gonna be metering for 400. You know, for me, one of the important things was. That of shooting film in general is is the the challenges that it presents. So one of the reasons why I'm starting to push film is just for the challenge. I don't know if things are gonna come out well, um, but for the most, I mean, most likely they will. So it's you know it's, it's largely about trusting yourself, trusting your judgment, and um, yeah. So I want to try and see how it comes out with the with this film Push Up 400. I actually haven't pushed this film yet, and we are almost ready to go. So I have a on the camera. I have a three stop um, ND filter uh, just to cut off some of the lights because I like to shoot wide open for the most part. Um, so I think we're almost ready to go. Uh, the body and the arts have always been part of my background and hence uh, when I started doing photography I wanted to do something that was related to that and so I started photographing dancers and actually started a, as a self-portrait series where I was photographing myself um, in the streets uh, doing different situations. Um, but the idea was to capture a moment that was suspended in time, so I was doing jumps and things like that. Um, and eventually I basically outsourced the jumping to other people and, and started to just stay behind the camera. And that's really why I started photographing dancers. Um, the reason why I do it in the streets is, is twofold um, or threefold. The main one is because it's free. It's easier to just, you know, do do it, you know, meet someone in the street and rather than do it um, on a studio or something like that. Uh, but also New York City, it's a very photographic, uh, it's a very photogenic city, uh, and people have this um, nostalgic idea of New York City um, that you see in films and things like that. So, so it's very relatable to people, and that's why. And the other reason is because I. I started doing um, photojournalism and street photography specifically and New York was a place where I started doing street photography. Just 
This is the one thing about shooting in the street. Sometimes you have to like wait for people to pass because otherwise you get like, for example, in that composition, and I had her in the in her position, and it was great. But then I had like two feet under her. Mm. That just look weird. It's like limbs out of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. So sometimes you know, for me, shooting in the street is a real game of patience. You know, you have to wait and wait until the moment is right, and uh, that's just part of the. Let's try it again. photographing the dancers uh, one of the things that I that I admire the most is the, is the fact that you know these are extraordinary people with amazing talents you know people that, that really work their bodies to the extreme and uh, the positions that they that they can achieve with their bodies are are beautiful and, and, and they're amazing uh, so that's that's ex precisely what I am trying to reach for when I'm when I'm trying to capture the the, the dancers. Um, specifically, that's why, for example, I mostly ask dancers um, that can do uh, point shoes, that can dance in point shoes, because again, that's something that you don't see every day. That's something that is very um, extraordinary, and that's that's really what I'm trying to 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 reach for. Something that that would you know take your breath away for a, for for a little bit of a moment there. Um, and that's what exactly what happens to me when I'm photographing dancers. You know, I feel that I'm in the presence of greatness, and, and you know, even though I've been doing this for, for quite a bit of time, it still takes my breath away, and I am not bored. And I and I can tell you that every time I relive the experience of, of having this, you know, moment of awe when I see the dancers in front of me, and that's really what I'm reaching for. I'm trying to look for 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 poses that 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 you know will stop you in your tracks and I would I would make you amazed of, of what the human body can do
I started photographing dancers um, originally in, in digital format, uh, but over the last year or so, I started uh, I started creating works in uh, uh, in film. Um, and the reason was mainly I think I wanted cha I wanted to challenge myself to to start creating something that has a completely different texture, but also the fact that you can't see what you're photographing. It it challenges you to to one be more intentional about what you're photographing but also it challenges you to trust yourself more throughout the work so for the most part I'm shooting each session I'm just doing one role per dancer so it only allows me to do 36 frames and within those 36 frames as opposed to what other people are doing right now that are, for example you see challenges that people are doing like photographing as many pictures as you can in a certain amount of time um, I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to be more intentional about what I'm creating and just do 36 frames, but there are 36 frames that count. Um, you'll see through these images that I, that I create in this, um, this series that sometimes I will repeat a pose because I want to make sure um, that I got what I was looking for, but as opposed to when I was doing digital that I can just keep shooting and shooting and shooting until I get what I wanted, I only give myself three four frame stops before I say, okay, let's just move on and accept the failure or the possibility of, fa of failure and just continue. Uh, one of the, I think I had that philosophy before I was shooting film, but now it's, I, I, I stress it even more is that before I took that picture, I didn't have it. So I'm not losing anything because I never had it. If I, if I got it, great. And for the most part, I think I would say 90% of the times that I repeat poses, I had them. I just want to make sure because there's a very, with, with dance, there's the difference between what can be the right photo and the wrong photo. It's, it could be like a slight movement of a, of a, of a wrist or, or of the hand or of the foot. And just, just that little bit can make or break a photo. So in the case of dance, I, I want to give myself at least a winning chance of getting the right picture and that's why sometimes I will repeat it once or twice or maybe three times stops but then uh, after that I just I don't want to say I give up but I just accept it and move on